I first started when I was five, and I come from a musical family, so my parents thought I should learn an instrument. It was the violin, and I've been going strong since then. I think he um, he got music from the womb. Actually, Patricia's a professional musician, and and he heard his first uh, music when I guess he could first hear. I was still deciding in my final year of high school. Then I got the opportunity to play uh, with the Queensland Youth Symphony Orchestra. I played a concerto with them, which really inspired me. From that point, I really was set on doing music. It's almost as if he doesn't have a choice, though. It's, it's kind of all-consuming, and and it's the most exciting thing that you can think of, and, uh, and, and he's just going with it. I started working with Richard um, in March this year. I think he has an, a natural instinct for the poetic in music, so we don't need to spend a huge amount of time teaching him how he might turn a phrase, because he seems to get that very quickly and very naturally. Just try it again and just see if you can find that, that equilibrium. I had a, a little accident uh, just before I came back to Australia, and the doctors told me one week before the first round that I would have to keep my fourth finger in a plaster uh, permanently for a month. So. I was devastated and almost pulled out of the competition, but a few days before the first round of the competition, I decided to go in to busk, and I said, hang on, I, I can play with, with three fingers. Perhaps I could refinger my entire repertoire for the first round, and then my plaster still had a few more weeks left for the second round. So I learnt my violin concerto on three fingers, and then a week before the, the second round of the competition, where the plaster could come off, I, I had to decide whether to refinger it back to four fingers or keep the more difficult three-fingered version. So I went ahead and just played it with three fingers. Last year I, I went to Cremona to meet the maker of my violin, Riccardo Bagonzi. He didn't know I was coming and I said, oh, hello, do you remember your violin? And he said, oh, yes. And I have this photo of Richard me meeting his maker, so to speak. It's the centenary of Barber's birth this year in 2010, so I thought, it's a good year to play his violin concerto. It's such a beautiful piece. It's, if you ever want to play a concerto with an orchestra, this is, this is probably the one. It's just so beautiful. Well, it's just the most wonderful thing to play with an orchestra as a musician and to have the full range of sound colors of a symphony orchestra. It's, it's incredible. When you get up there, it's just the best feeling in the world. Your playing just goes to a new level because it's so inspiring and, and you really have to, to step up um, when you're playing with the symphony orchestra. It's just such a, a different ballpark to chamber music or solo. It's a positive thing for the career uh, to win competitions like this. First priority is, is your commitment to the music and sharing music with the audience. <laughs>